You see what low grade you made on your weekly mathematics test. More than half of you failed. Most of those who passed just got by. Nobody had 100%. This is the poorest class I've had in a long, long time. Most of you have no foundation at all. Now the trouble's with your attitude. You don't pay enough attention in class. You don't do enough work outside of it. You don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. Don't you realize that mathematics is an important subject? I tell you right now that unless you get over your lazy habits and come up to the standards I've set for this class, many of you will have the pleasure of repeating this course next semester. And my earliest memory is like, yeah, I went to kindergarten, that's probably the earliest memory, and then I like had to go to school. It's an educational system where people or children have to go to, they are forced to do that. And basically to, yeah, they say to learn about the world and to learn about different things about this world. But in the end, it's like basically a training, a training to become a walker. Of course, there are a few useful things, some might say, that you learn from school. But um, like science, reading and writing, perhaps some interesting books. But I think the way that they teach these subjects is not effective and it actually makes kids hate science and reading and writing and <laughs> whatever else they teach because they just make it extremely non-fun and completely based around exams and pass it, passing a test. And of course, by taking exams you learn how to cheat because the idea is to get good grades, uh, not to learn something actually. So in order to get good grades, you learn how to cheat and you see that that works, so that's how it goes. So this school created a competition between us because it was not about learning things, it was becoming better than the other, and better than the other, and just competing with other kids. And that made us, the kids, just want to become better and better and better. We didn't care. We didn't care about atoms. They, they were teaching us about atoms, the structure of our universe. But no one cared about atoms. We were just trying to memorize some facts and tell to the teachers so that we can get good grades. They were labeling us based on how much we know, but it was basically how much we could remember. It teaches you more how to be obedient and how to repeat the information instead of creative thinking. And uh, yeah, that's something that I, I, I wouldn't tell I understood at that very early age, but I was resistant to that from the very early age. Um, that uh, mentality of following the crowd, of making things right, was somehow um, alien to me. The trouble is, you don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. Oh, I try. What's this? What kind of behavior do you call this? Wait a minute, you say where you are. This is the kind of behavior I might have expected of you. All I do is leave the room for a few minutes, and what do I find? Confusion, disorder. And you, what were you doing? I was just going... Going to what? Throw the eraser, I suppose. It's a good thing I caught you. I'll make an example out of you. But I... That's enough out of you. Leave this room and report to the principal's office immediately. Well, hurry up. Don't take all day. Actually, in school, you mainly, mainly lose your interest in the world because everything is obligatory. You are forced to do tests, you are forced to go there every day, basically. And then you don't get to realize or think about all the amazingness in this world, in this, on this planet that we live on. And yeah, this is something I find so sad in a way because we are born and like we grow up in this planet on this planet in this huge universe with so many stars and galaxies and all that and in school you learn most mainly things that are not relevant you don't talk as much about these things or not at all maybe I can't make any sense out of this. I might as well quit. In his 12 years, 
a huge amount of time, you pretty much don't remember anything and you wonder, you know, what was that all about? I've been to school, no, I've been, I've been in this institution and I learned, I have to, I'm, I'm honest, I learned nothing useful, absolutely nothing. I knew nothing about how human beings organize their societies. I knew nothing about how the world works. I knew nothing about what is out there and, and in, in here. I was, I was completely clueless about who am I in this society and in this universe. I had no idea, no idea whatsoever. All that school is, is to prepare you to be like your parents. Those parents that uh, wake up in the morning by the mighty line goes on the planet, go and uh, to these places that, quite honestly, look, looking at my parents, never, they never enjoyed going at. I haven't seen them happy in the morning, you know, getting ready to go to this place because they cannot wait to go there and, and do that thing that they do there, whatever that thing is. I never saw them. I never saw them like that. I always saw them quite grumpy and quite, I don't know, their life was was getting away from them in, in a sense. So school only kind of prepares you for that, if, if ever. <laughs>